looks like a person or an animal made its way through there. What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today is my third, fourth day, I think it's my fourth day in Florida. Yeah, fourth day. It's now Tuesday. And uh, I think we're just gonna be going over to check out the beach today and just explore a little bit because I haven't really explored this area. I've only been here one other time and that was back in July. So we're gonna do some exploring today. Stick around. got construction crews out here or whatever you call them because of all this hurricane damage they have a bunch of boardwalks just gone piers knocked down but it's still beautiful looks like Flagler Beach got hit pretty hard they're redoing everything on the side of the road here but it does give you a good view of the ocean with all this stuff not being here. So I'm at a state park here in Florida. It's not much to it except for, I believe it's this tree right here. There is a sign right here if we can see it. Fairchild Oak, can you try to zoom in? There we go, we can read that. So the live oak has withstood hurricane winds, fires, droughts, wars, and the follies of mankind for centuries. This please help us protect it by basically don't climb on the trees. I try to zoom out again, but that's a pretty big tree. Only thing else here that I see basically is trails to walk on, which I don't feel like walking on trails, but that's pretty cool. It's a pretty big tree in the background too. And you got a knockdown limb over there. That's basically it for this park, it's mainly just trails and it says watch out for snakes. It's like a jungle out here, it's nice. Right, guys I pulled off the road here because I noticed this little protected structure over here so I wanted to take a look at it and once these people leave I will get out to get a closer look but it is a old plantation mill so like I said as soon as these people leave we'll jump out of the truck and get a closer look so this was the Dummett plantation mill ruins the remains of the sugar and rum processing factory built in 1825 and owned by Thomas H. Dummett. Looks like a person or animal made its way through there. Which I'm not going in because I'm not trying to get in trouble. <laughs> 